In this video, I'm going to teach you how to link a bank account or a debit card to your PayPal account. If you are new to my channel, this is Slick True and I want to say kindly subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I drop an update on this channel. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much and I say welcome back once again. Like I said, I'm going to teach you how to connect a bank account or a debit card to your PayPal account. And if you have not created a PayPal for yourself, I made a video on how to create a PayPal account for yourself in Nigeria or any part of the country you are in. Just click on the link right here. It's going to take you to the video I made on how to create a PayPal account for yourself. So now let's say you are done creating a PayPal account for yourself and you need a bank account to link to this particular PayPal. I have also made a video on what bank you can actually open to link to your PayPal account. You can click right here. It will take you directly into the video I made on how to create a US bank account for yourself in your name legally in Nigeria. So now let's say you have created this PayPal account and you have also created this bank account for yourself. This is the time for me to teach you how to connect and link this particular account to your PayPal. So now let's go ahead and let me show you every step I'm going to take to connect this particular bank account to my PayPal account. So now this is my PayPal account. As you can see everything has been verified, everything, no issue on this particular account. So now I'm going to show you what to do next. But the first thing I want you to do is make sure you add a number that you can easily have access to, that you easily have access to. You know when creating this Argentina PayPal account, you use Argentina number, but this is a trick on what to do next. Just go ahead and go to your name here, click on profile settings right here. Once you click on profile settings, you are going to see a phone number, a place where you can add a new phone number in. So here is the page right now. You can see the phone number right here. It says phone number right here. And you can see, let me click on update because that is what you are going to click on. So click on update. Once you click on update, can you see I have two number right there because this is the Argentina number I added. And also, let me show you very well because of the screen. Um, okay. This is the Argentina number I added, which is home, and this is my Nigerian number. So what you are going to do is click on add new. Once you click on add new, you are going to click on type, click on mobile. Once you click on mobile and change this to Nigeria, look for Nigeria right here. Scroll down until you can find Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Click on Nigeria and add your number. This is the number I added just like this and click on make this my primary number. Make this my primary number. That is what you should do next. Once you click on this and click on add number. So once you click on add number, it is going to add your number into this place. You can as well remove the number, but I really want you to leave the number like that and don't remove it because it might actually be something suspicious on your account. So PayPal will not limit your account. So once you add the number and you make the, the primary number, you are good to go. So the next thing you are going to do is go back, just wait for you to load. So once you are on the home page like this, click on choose bank account because this is the only thing that remains on this account to do. So what you are going to do now is click on choose your bank. So once you click on that, it is going to load. So now here it says link bank and link debit card. So I can actually go with the bank and I can actually go with the debit card. So if I say I want to go with the bank, all I'm going to do is just click on the bank, link a bank. So I'm going to do this right now. Can you see it says let me show you very well. It says link a bank account. Make sure you link a bank account that accepts Argentina peso. This ensures your transfer won't be declined. You do you remember that we created an Argentina paper? So that is why they are saying we should link Argentina bank account. But you can remember that we also created a US bank account on GP. So what are we going to do? We have Argentina account and we have US paper. Uh, sorry, we have Argentina paper account and we have US bank account. What we are going to do right now is scroll down. And here it says link a US bank instead. So this is what we are going to click on right now. So click on link a US bank account instead. Now it says checking or savings, routing number and account number. This is what we are going to do. We are going to go over to our GP account and copy all those information out to this place. So now we are going to go over to this GP account. My GP account says I have a checking account. So I'm going to go over to my paper bag and click on check-in. Instead of this savings, I'm going to click on check-in. And the routing number, what I'm going to do right now is click on this routing number right here. I'm going to click on this routing number right here. Copy this routing number and paste it inside there. Once I paste it here, 
it says West Fargo automatically. So it has automatically found this routing number to be a West Fargo account. So what I'm going to do is click on, on this page again and copy our account number. This is my account number. I'm going to copy this right now and go over to my PayPal account and paste this account number in. So once I paste this account number in, I'm going to click on link bank account. The reason why I'm not going to click on this link bank account is because I have already added this bank account to another paper. So if I try to link it to another paper again, it is going to be an issue. So I've linked this particular account. So once you click on the link bank account, it is going to say you need to verify your number and you are going to choose in between the number. The reason why I told you to add your phone number before is because they are going to send a code to your number. So you are going to choose between the Nigeria number you input and the Argentina number you have. So if you don't link your number, they are only going to send the code to Argentina number you don't have access to. So for you to be on the server side, that is why I said you should link a phone number to your PayPal account. But make sure it is a phone number you have not used for a PayPal before. It is very, very important. Don't use the number you have used for a PayPal. In fact, use a new number or use someone's number you have access to that has not been connected to a PayPal before. So they are going to send a code to it once you link the account. And once you can verify the number, the code, your account is going to be linked because they are going to send a little dollar amount into your GP account in about one day and they are going to ask you to input that number back into your paper to confirm the account. So now I'm going to teach you how to connect a card also using this method. So what you are going to do right now is go over to our paper again and click on this place because I need to go back so I can show you how to link a card. So yeah, right now it says link a bank. We have we are done with the bank. And here it says link a credit or debit card. So we are going to click on link a card right now to link our card to this particular paper. So right now click on link a card. And here it says debit or credit number, card type if it is Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover or Dinner Card, expiring date and security code and billing address. So right now, what we need to do right now is very, very simple. Very, very simple. What you're going to do right now is go over to our GPA account and click on card right here. Once you click on card right here, it is going to say create a new card. So I'm going to create a new card right now. Uh, alias, you can just choose a name for this particular card you want to create. You can just choose any name or for yourself. I'm going to say Sleek. It doesn't really have to be your Lego name. So virtual, I'm going to create a virtual because they don't have a Visa card right now. So a virtual card and choose card brand, MasterCard or Visa card. So I'm going to go with uh, Visa card and uh, I'm going to click on continue. And here it says amount to add to card. Card fee is $2. Card fee is $2. So right now I don't have $2 on this account, but I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going to go ahead and try to add $2 to this particular account right now. So now for me to create a US card now, I'm going to need $2 like they said. So I need to add $2 to this particular GP account so I can be able to create a card to use. So it's normal in Nigeria, even if you want to, even if you want to collect a card in Nigerian bank, you are still going to pay money to collect a card. And here is just $2, which is about 3000 Naira which is about 3,000. In Nigerian bank, you pay about 2,000 naira or so. So now for me to create a bank account, to create a card, I need to add money. So I'm going to come over to this GPay homepage and I'm going to click on add fund, which is right here. You can see add fund. So once I click on add fund, it is going to say, how much do you want to add? It is about $2. I want to add $2, but I will really not add $2 because of some other charges, although they don't have real much charges, but the minimum amount you can add is about 5,000 naira. So 5,000 naira is about 3.1 dollars. So I'm going to say three. Let me show you if I if I want to add two dollars now, two dollars, two dollars, and I'm paying with naira. So you have to click pay with naira right here. So pay with naira, and two dollars is about 3,300 naira. So if you click on continue, they are going to say amount must be must not be less than 5,000 naira. So if you are going to pay. 5,000 naira right here. That means you have to increase this amount to about $3. So $3 is still 4,950. So, and we need to make a minimum of 5,000 naira. So it is just about $3.1. So $3.1 is 5,115 naira. 
and now all you you need to do is click on continue and once you click on continue you are going to click on bank transfer so once you click on bank transfer fund wallets you are about to fund your usd wallets with 310 usd and the exchange rate is this so what you are going to do right now is click on fund wallet so once you click on fund wallet you are going to pay into this account number the bank is credit money microfinance and the account name is can you see my name they opened a nigerian account for me in my name with this microfinance bank so now if i pay into this credit microfinance it is going to show my name with this account number so i am the owner of this account in credit microfinance bank so once i pay it uh, an amount of 515 they says send exactly 515 naira don't send below don't send more than 515 naira with a zero fee to the account number below within 30 minutes make sure within 30 minutes you send the amount of 5115 to this account number your account number nigerian account number with gp so they created a nigerian account number for you with gp for you to fund it inside so now once you send the money you are going to click on i have sent 5115 naira so once you send it click on this right here so now you can see on my screen i have 5115 naira available balance which totals to 310 so i need two dollars to activate this particular usd card so right now what i'm going to do is go back to where we want to get this usd card and i'm going to click on create new card the same process we did the last time so the alias i'm going to just put in slick and here it says virtual physical card so i'm going to choose virtual card and yet it says choose brand choose brand mastercard you are going to need three dollars to create mastercard whereby you are going to need just two dollars to create visa card and at least you must add at least one dollar into those card when you are creating you must add at least one dollar to those cards so if you are going to create a mastercard which is three dollars you are going to add extra one dollar to add to the card making four dollars but visa card you are going to need two dollars to create their card and one dollar extra making three dollars so that is the difference so let me just say i want to go with the visa card and i'm going to click on continue here it says amount to add the charge of the card is two dollars so the minimum account amount you can add is one one dollar so making three dollars right now if it is uh mastercard this place is going to be three dollars plus one it is going to be four dollars let me show you right here uh if you are going to do mastercard can you see mastercard is three so plus one making four dollars so that is it so let me go with the visa card although i'm not going to create account because i don't need the account i don't need the card so let me just go with just the demo so now select account to be debited to be debited from we have money inside our naira account here can you see we have money in our naira so everything totals to three us dollar so three us dollar is four thousand nine fifty and you know we have five thousand one fifteen so we are still going to have about about 200 naira left on the card so what you're going to do is just click on submit because once you click on submit you have created the account but i'm not going to click on it so uh because i don't need the account i don't really want to create the account so what you are going to do is just click on submit and you are going to have your card so once you are done creating this particular account you can go back to your paper and link this debit card to your paper in this video i think i've showed you and explained how to link your bank account from this gray to uh, your paper and also link your debit card to your paper account very very easy at that there are other platforms we can use but i'm going to talk about them in another video so that will be all about this video right now and if you have not subscribed to my channel still please subscribe to the channel right now and turn on the notion bell to get notified anytime i drop another update on this channel thank you so much i really really appreciate it. and it's your boy slick true and i'll see you in another video and bye